Oh hey, it's my face. So I'm back with a makeup tutorial because I haven't done one in a while. I know it's been my drawings. You like my bow? Isn't my bow super cute? Um, so today I'm going to do a half and half face. One half is going to be beauty and the other half, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Or, you know, you read the title and you already know. But that's besides the point. So Today I am going to do, like I said, half beauty and half something else, and I really like how this turned out. Oh, coffee time. Um, anyway, so I really do like how this turned out. Um, it is another type of skull, but not really. I know I do a lot of skulls on, the, on this channel, but I do like skulls. Skulls are pretty and awesome and we all have one I mean if you don't have one then you're not human so let's start with some Urban Decay primer I've already done my eyebrows which I just use a little bit of a black pencil and um, some eyeshadow to fill them in and I'm using Tarte's shape tape in the color I don't know 12b fair beige and that's how I make my um, eyebrow, you know, correct. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's how I, you know, fix my eyebrow if it's all a mess. Now I'm just going to be doing a very natural color eye, so I'm doing browns. That um, is a Z palette that I made myself. And it has Kat Von D's uh, Light and Shade palette in it. So I'm just mostly using the browns from that and just um, blending them into my crease using the black to blend it out and then using the darker brown blending it out and here I am using the black again pat that onto my outer corner And then I'm using this really pretty gold. I think I got it out of an Ipsy bag a long time ago when I was still getting Ipsy bags. I haven't re-signed up, but I should. Um, and I end up wetting a brush and using a little bit more because the, uh, what do they call them? What is that? The little doe foot thing wasn't working as well. So I just wet a brush and apply it. Now I'm using Kat Von D's Anti-Precision -Pre Pencil um, for my waterline. I love this stuff for my waterline. It is fantastic and great and awesome and I love it. And I did smudge a little bit on the top just to have a little bit more black there because I do like my eyes nice and dark. I'm adding another layer of um, washable glue stick to my eyebrow to help it um, not be seen when I do my um, makeup. Oh yeah, I don't know where this came from. I all of a sudden just got blue all over my hand. But anyway, trying to cover my brow. Using mascara, giving myself some lashes. Because I don't use fake lashes. I can't ever put them on correctly. I'm using my Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the color 118. And I was using my little um, beauty blender, but decided to get my bigger one because the little one was too little. <laughs> Blending out my face. Have a raptor claw. And also taking the shape tape again as my concealer. Using my color cover girl, um, what is it called? Yep, brain translucent powder. That's what it is. And I'm covering that eyebrow to just, you know, try to get it covered. And then I'm using some of the shape tape and putting that over my eyebrow. And for the most part, it's not there. You can't really see my eyebrow. I look kind of weird without an eyebrow. And now I'm using the Love Contours All palette by NYX and putting on some contour. I like a hard contour because I'm weird, but I also rub it out a little bit with my fingers just to make sure it's not too harsh. 
and using some extra powder. And then putting some blush on. Get my cheekies nice and pink. I'm using Estate Doomy for my highlight. And for a pop of color on the lips, I'm using Maybelline's Superstay Matte Ink. I don't think I showed you the color. Let me see. What color is it? It is color 15, and it's called Lover. This stuff stays on ridiculously. So now I'm going to take my Mayron paints. Um, they're water activated and start on the cyborg skull So yes now I just told you what it was I should have just told you from the beginning But you also see the title so I guess I don't really have to you know and using the anti-precision liner for also the darkest amount of I uh, What is it called waterline <laughs> Jeez. So my friend got me these a while ago, and um, they don't work great, but you can layer them up, and it makes them work very well. So I only, well, you know what? No, they do work pretty good because having two coats compared to let and it not be too super super chalky, I think that's pretty good. So um, I'm not sure what they are. They're just called Water-Based Body Art Face and Body Painting Kit. Um, doesn't say who it's by. And I'm not sure where she got it, but it works pretty well. Um, these, This is the Metallic Silver and Gold. And before I started doing um, the actual like painting, I did draw it out on a little face chart that I made just so I know where I was putting each color. And while I was doing this look, I got interrupted with a phone call twice. And if you remember, I do record my videos now with my phone. So I was interrupted with phone calls and text messages that were urgent. So I would like walk down stairs and talk to somebody with half a face done. So it was, it was kind of funny. Don't let editing fool you. This look took like an hour and a half to do. Um, this is sped up like five and a half times just so it's not super, super long. So we're almost done with the first layer of the metallic paint and now I'm starting. This is the Mayron palette with the white to make the teeth. And I do go over those twice because white doesn't like to hold up, I guess. And then filling in the skull part with black, which is also on the Mayron palette. And here's where I start doing the second coat of each little piece. Sorry that I'm a little out of frame. This hasn't happened in a little while, but, um, you know, it wouldn't be a Brianna video if, you know, I was in frame the entire time. For the most part, that eyebrow is gone. I haven't been able to su successfully like cover a brow that well ever so I was really happy with the brow coverage this time and I think it was just because I finally got like a palette knife to actually use and here's where I decided to take another coffee break but um, I have water activated paints on my mouth so <laughs> duh that's why you saw me do like fishy lips
And here's where I'm giving a little bit of shading. I'm using brown on the gold and I'm going to be using black on the silver to give a little bit of shading on each of the pieces. And I also use some light or some black but just lightly on the teeth. And I'm giving myself some of those indents where the teeth are. And now I'm starting to give myself highlights just above where that shadow is. And fixing up the teeth a little bit, which I end up messing up when I go back over with the block. The block. The black and like always it, you're not any sort of artist or anything unless you lose your brush or your pencil or whatever you're using it just happens all the time it's really annoying by the way I promise I don't wear the same clothes every single time or every single day. These are just my, what I consider my art clothes, so they're already ruined, and I don't wear other clothes that are gonna possibly get ruined. So, yeah. I, I know it's the same shirt, but I, I promise I'll wash it, and I don't wear it every single day. <laughs> so here's where I'm starting to outline um, each piece, and I think this really brings it together. I wish I had blackout contacts. I think that would have made this look look so much cooler. Like Scalera's. That would look so cool. Scalera's are expensive though. And here's where I fix up some areas. In a moment, I'm going to be putting little bolts everywhere after I fill in my hairline and down the... Oh, what happened? What just happened there? Okay, well, I filled in um, down my neck as well a little bit. And now I'm fixing up the teeth again and giving myself some more highlights. Fixing up the highlights. And here's where I start giving myself little bolts with black and then I put highlights on each bolt with white. I'm just about done here. I really love how this look came out. I haven't done, you know, a face painting look in a long time, so I was really looking forward to it, and I was really excited to get it done, and I'm really happy that I did it. I had this cyborg look in my head for a long time. Um, I really hope you guys like this. Please, 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 if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell notification so you know the next time I upload. I usually upload on Mondays. If I forget, it's usually Tuesday um, because I'm really good at forgetting. Um, but yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I want to like connect with you guys more. So so really comment and stuff i really want to talk to you guys and you know get to know you and maybe you get to know me so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know i'm not gonna say it again i'm really good at you know doing that so <laughs> anyway i'll see you all in my next video bye